Okay, this uh, next clip is about the break-even analysis steps. Um, we have three options in this case of what we're going to do to produce. We can buy from an outsourcer, an outsourcing provider. We could purchase a new machine, or what we're doing currently is making it in-house. And each of these options is associated with a fixed cost and a variable cost in each case. And you'll notice in this yellow cell, there's nothing entered in because we need to enter in the formula to compute total cost. And at the top, we've got the variable, the quantity produced. So to enter in the total cost formula, we're going to use the total cost formula as taught in class, which is fixed cost plus the variable cost times the quantity produced x. So I'm going to enter in the equation here, equals fixed cost plus the variable cost times x. And there's nothing in this cell right now, but I can still reference the cell, even though it's empty. And since I'm going to be copying this formula to these other two cells, I'm going to use an absolute reference for E4. So I'm just going to type F4 on the keyboard. And hit enter. And now I can see that there's a total cost equation. And I'm just going to enter some random number in here to compute the total cost of producing 587 units. And that automatically updates the cell. All right, and as I said, since I'm using a, an absolute reference, I can copy this equation to the next two areas. And because I've put the values of fixed and variable cost in the same location relative to the formula location, I can just copy it straight down without modifying it. Control C, after selecting the cell, copies it. I click on the next two cells holding control to click the next cell so they're both selected and now I just hit control V on the keyboard control V and it automatically post, uh, pastes the equation into both of those cells. Uh, the next step I want to find the break-even point between these first two options so I'm going to put a little title here break-even point And in parentheses, I'm going to put make versus buy. Number one. So to format this real quickly, I'm just going to put thick border, change the fill to be yellow, so I know it's a formula. All right. And now I'm going to enter in the break even point formula between make versus buy options. All right. So I type equals. And for the numerator, I'm going to type an open parenthesis, and the first option is make minus the second option, buy, and then I close the parenthesis, divided by, and for the denominator I also put it within parenthesis, so I open the parenthesis, and in this case it's Option two is variable cost first. So option buy minus make variable cost. Close the parenthesis and now I push enter. And it shows that the break even point between these two options is 10,000 units. Similarly, I can also define a break even point between these two. And if I just select these two cells, control C to copy. I see that this is at the bottom row of this box. If I line it up correctly, I can paste it because of the way I've designed the spreadsheet. And just click, click here and put control V on the keyboard. And it's going to perfectly align so that it's using the right elements of the equation for break even point. But I need to change this to say Buy versus new machine. So we've now got the break even point. If I'm choosing between option one to buy or do it 
the way I'm doing it currently, the break-even point is 10,000 units. And if I'm choosing between option one to buy and option two, a new machine, the break-even point is 24,000 units. The real question is, how do I choose between these three based on the quantity made? 